This is horrible. Do not do what I do. All right, today we're working on C10. I'm gonna uh, seal the floors off inside, done a bunch of patching, and I uh, don't really know what I'm doing, but uh, anyhow, I bought one of these guys, nail off some of that uh, rust and paint, and then I'm gonna degrease it with some eco-friendly paint thinner there. Um, it's uh, eco-friendly and two dollars cheaper. It's probably not any good. And then I'm gonna seal it with a little Rust-Oleum undercoat. Let's get into it. Okay, so this is what I'm working with. I've done a lot of patching in here. Um, this is the first bit of body work I've ever had to do, so I don't really know what I'm doing. But uh, there's a lot of rust left over. Most of it's surface rust. The uh, shop manager's in today. So we gotta make sure we do a good job. All right, you ready? Here's a better look at kind of what we got going on in the cab here. A good bit of surface rust. I like to get it all sealed up so it'll stop rusting. All right, pro tip here. If you're running short of time, take your quarter inch uh, ratchet extension, step it up to a 3 8, snatch it on there, put it on your drill. Automatic ratchet. Okay, and now for the easy part, I'm just gonna snatch a mostly full gas tank right on out of this cap. Let's do it. Always do this work by yourself. Never ask a friend, then you owe them a favor. So just blow your back out, you'll be fine. All right, day two of the strip and rip. We'll go ahead and grind on this floor a little bit. Put some stuff in the cracks and Wipe it down with some stuff, and then, you know, spray it with some stuff. Let's get into it. All right, next step. Find the most dangerous thing in the shop. Take the guard off of it. Wear zero safety equipment and go to town. Pro tip coming your way. You ain't got the right sandpaper, but you got drywall sandpaper laying around. It's the same thing. Just paper with sand stuck to it. You can use it to uh, get in here around the pedals. Or
mix things next. I'm going to get my sprayer. Drop a bit of the old uh, eco-friendly paint thinner in there. Probably not going to work great. Use one of my homemade shop rags. We're going to wipe her down. And uh, get ready to start uh, pss, 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 on them. Give her the old smell test. If it don't burn the nose, no, that ain't gonna do anything. Alright, quick audible. We're gonna clean the uh, nonsense milk thinner with some real uh, thinner with a uh, fresh homemade shop rag. Let's freaking do it. Alright, we got our uh, seam sealer here. It's uh, sagging, uh, fast skinning, paintable. Seam up some of these. Seam up some, seal up some of these seams, and uh, get it ready for paint. Thought y'all might want to watch me um, mask off this stuff in super fast mode. Here we go. All right, warning, pro tip coming your way. Fill these screw holes. It's got threads, you don't want to ruin them. Just take a little dobble of tape, wad it up. That's about like a, a mouse turd. All right, uh, next step next. We're going to lay down some freaking uh, paint finally. A rubberized undercoating. I'm just going to cover this a couple times and. Alright boys and girls, this is what we ended up with. It's all dried up. Got to slap the tank in. Let's freaking do it. 
All right, so you remember earlier, I told you never, ever ask your friends for help because then you'll owe them a favor. Okay. This tank weighs about 800 pounds full. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to dump it into these buckets I got laying around for about two gallons a piece. Get some weight off of it. I'm going to slap her in there. I don't want to scratch the new paint up I just did. So let's see how that goes. Should have did earlier. Get a little bit of fuel out of here. All right, here's what we got. Got a gut full of gasoline. Got the tank basically empty at this point, manageable. But upon further investigation, this floor is frickin' freight. So, I think I'm just gonna redo it. Fantastic. Pro tip out there, boys. If you're an idiot like me, and you uh, put this rubber coating down, and you decided to strip it all and just redo everything you've been working on for hours, uh, I got this magic solution here. It's called E85. Just douse it. Let it marinate for a few minutes. Brings that patina right out. You get your clean rag. Look at that. All right, take two. Now if you squint your eyes, touch your head a little bit. Almost looks like I didn't waste 14 hours prepping the bottom of this truck and getting it painted. So, I'm gonna do a little research and we'll make a second attempt. Okay, day 97 of our two day floor and restore. Uh, I've completely stripped the uh, rubberized undercoating. Just read the instructions. Don't do what I do. I got this uh, ultimate uh, bonding primer. Already did a little test spot. Seems to bond really well. And I'm just going to hit it with the uh, high performance black and move on with my life. This is horrible. Do not do what I do. Final product, seats in, candy paint floors, look at that, a little bit of texture, don't worry about that. If you're a real hot rodder and you want to add about 13 horsepower, be one of those in there. She! That toy right there. Okay, okay. So if you don't Daddy. know you... Daddy? Daddy? Okay, people. If you don't know yet that I have no idea what I'm doing, 
then just read the instructions probably helps uh, only took 983 days and uh, I got like a super shiny black floor just ease on down to that subscribe button you just give it a and I'll make some more videos of me not knowing what to do so till next time all right you drive